Namaste. Welcome to Morning Yoga. My name is Izmi. Udiana Banda and Mura Banda is going to help and support this practice. So let's get on to the mat. Down with the face and dog, please. And hands down and relax your head. That's a great stretch to the back of your body. And the muscle and fascia and hydrate the fascia. Maybe slightly bend your knees right and left and relax your head. And when you are ready, grounding your heels towards the mat, open your toes and grounding your toes down, in the heel down, out the heel down. And lift your foot arch and sense of grounding and same time lifting up. Let's practice Udiyana Bandha. Let's together inhale. Then exhale. And hold the breath and tuck your navel towards the spine and lift up, hollow your belly. And release, inhale. And continue a few more times. Establish the sense of Udiyana Bandha. It's a flying Bandha abdominal lock. After exhalation, hold the breath and tuck your navel in and up and hollow your belly. Feel the nice lengthening on your lower back. And inhale, look forward. And exhale, walk towards your hand, bend forward. Uttanasana, grab your elbows, swing side to side. Just relax your arms and a hand. And slowly lower your hips to palms together, Malasana. And relax your pelvic flow. And let's do Mura Bandha. Squeeze your pelvic floor and lifting up. Send the energy up through the spine to the top of your head. And exhale, relax your pelvic floor. At the end of exhalation, engage your pelvic floor and squeeze and pull it up. Send the energy through the spine to the top of your head to the sky. Then exhale, release. It is okay to take your time to develop the sense of Udiyana Bandha especially. This is going to help for your any inversion poses and arm balance pose. All right, release hands down, step back. Arm balance pose is core because you need the strength on the arm and also opening the shoulders. So let's Pay attention, the opening the shoulders and fingers wide, palm pressed down and soften your elbows to create a space between ear and shoulder. Keep breathing. So anytime you may practice Udiyana Bandha when you are bending forward like this, downward facing dog or the Uttanasana. All right, so sense of length in the lower back, lumbar spine, and let's come to plank pose, shoulder over the hip. So now gravity pull your pelvis towards the earth and use your core. Mura Bandha pelvic flow, do not let your pelvis sink down towards the earth. One more breath, and then exhale, Hips high to downward facing dog. Let's continue and exhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. And exhale. And exhale. And one more time, inhale. 
and I exhale downward facing dog and I held light leg up and open opening the hips and let's square the hip and push your light heel straight back engage the core and pelvis and the parallel to light hip next to your left hip and release let's change and left leg up and open the hips first and just open the pelvis hip joint then square make sure your fingers are really wide and root of your fingers finger pad palms down and push your left heel towards back and exhale release and feet apart walk your hands back to Marasana or maybe Pasasana let's do Pasasana and bring your right hand inside of your right knee left hand up and open and then move your pelvis forward to lengthen the lower back and open the chest and you may stay here or you may bind so help opening your shoulders move your shoulder back and down and then release at the other side left hand inside of your left knee right hand up and open and then bring your hands behind you and connect and roll your shoulder back and down one more breath I'm gonna exhale please bring your hands down to the mat and walk your hands forward to plank pose and palms under the shoulder tuck your navel towards the spine get the sense of the core mura bandha send the energy through the spine to the top of your head okay one more breath and exhale hips high to downward facing dog let's come to dolphin bring your forearm down one by one elbow down then another elbow down so ideally elbow shoulder distance apart so your forearm is a parallel and relax your head if you can bring your head between your elbows and look to your toes you may practice here, Udiyana Bandha. Tuck your navel towards the spine. inhale and exhale walk back to dolphin prank how oh, you are holding your pelvis and let's do a few more times like this walk your feet forward inhale dolphin and exhale walk back and let's do one more inhale exhale walk back dolphin plank and shoulder over the elbows and let's hold it here tuck your navel towards the spine engage your core and really press your forearm down to the mat but same time lifting up and holding up not sinking down to the earth and hold five four keep your neck long three two one and release knee down and child pose bring your hands by your side and make a first squeeze on your exhalation let go your fingers and relax your whole body do a few more times and then relax your arms relax your shoulders and reach your hands forward 
holding a cupcake. Finger pat down and lift your last elbows off the mat. Then exhale, pull your hips back and lengthen the armpit, your arms and lower back. One more breath. Feel the stretch to the upper back, middle of the back and lower back. And exhale, let go. And plant your forearm down to the mat and come into dolphin plank. And inhale. And exhale, tuck your navel towards the spine. And inhale. Walk forward to dolphin. And hand relax. Practice Udiyana Banda. Inhale. And then exhale. And hold the breath, tuck your navel in and up and hold your belly. Lengthen the lower back. And inhale to release. And do a few more times. So Udiyana Banda is a frying banda. Use this technique, Udiyana Banda, to lift yourself high. The pelvis, the sacrum high in the air. The highest peak in this pose. And the heel light leg up. And just push your light heel straight back. And then release left. And the heel. Change one more each. And release child pose. And hands by your side and relax your shoulder. Make a face squeeze. On your exhalation, let go. Relax your shoulders and arms. Now let's do the pinch mayurasana. You may do the variation in the pinch mayurasana. So if you have a wall close by, you can be close to the wall, so you don't need to worry about falling. Forearm down, your thumb and thumb make a triangle. So forearm is a parallel with each other, shoulder distance apart, right? Then your focal point, the drishti is going to be triangle with the thumb, the point, okay? So if you are in a variation of dolphin, you may kind of lift your legs high. And just you may stay, you may practice here today. Practice the legs up and getting a sense of the air and the space and the inversion upside down. Or you may kick back. And few times. Or you may go on to pinch my rasana. Remember the dristy point? And Murabanda, lift your hips. Press your forearm down strong. When you are ready, come down. And child pose. Check your breath. And slowly roll yourself and come onto the mat, please. And hug your knee to the chest. And you may roll back and forth if you like, rocking chair. 
and massage to your back. And you may eventually come to Halasana. Nice opening to the back of your body this time. So in a pinch my rasana or a scorpion, we stretch the front line of the body. So now back line we stretch, which was compressed. Relax high. Plant your feet down to the mat. Let's go on to bridge pose. behind you and releasing the shoulders and arms and lengthening the neck lengthening the back of your neck which was a pinch pinched in that arm balance pose so now it's a lengthening inhale lift your heels hands reach up to the sky and over on your exhalation, slowly lower each vertebrae at a time. Happy baby Ananda Barasana. Bend your knees, open your legs wide. Relax your head. Relax your lower back resting on the earth. Relax your pelvic flow. Work for the Mura Bandha. And relax your abdominus, your belly. Worked for the Udiana Banda. Sutta Ardha Machendrasana. Cross your right leg over to the left and drop your right knee to the right. Stretch. And look to your left hand. And let's make a very slow movement with your left hand. Big and slow. Change the direction of the circle. Feel the openness, the fascia. We are hydrating the fascia around your shoulder, arm. Also notice the back, left side of your body and change, cross your left over the right leg, drop your knee to the left side, twist and look to your right hand. Then throw and the big circle. Change the direction. Improving the range of motion on the shoulder. That's going to help for your arm balance pose. And release. And lie down. And let's together big inhale. Open your mouth, exhale. One more time, take a big inhale. Open your mouth, exhale. Relax. And feel the space over your body. Feel the sense of touch. The air touching to your skin. and feel the space over your body expands.
bring awareness to your fingers and toes. And hug your knee to the chest. And roll on to your right side. Thanks to your body and mind. Slowly, mindfully come up to a comfortable seat, eyes closed. Let's together inhale, hands reach to the sky, gathering all the happiness and peace. Then exhale, palms together to heart center. Let's chant Om once. Inhale. And exhale, settle into the seat. And I hail open the space and home. Om. Thank you very much for letting me guide us through your practice and sharing your time together. Namaste. So we incorporate the Uddiyana Bandha, which is abdominal lock, and Mura Bandha root lock. Those techniques will help you to balance and strengthen towards any inversion and unbalanced pose. My name is Izumi. Thank you for joining and see you in my next video.